Uh, you know, a, a great basketball coach, I've stole his line many times, John Wooden, I, I really like him as a coach, I really admire him. He said, small things make big things happen. It's true. And so there are a lot of small things here that add up to a big thing. You've got to do them all correctly. That's why it takes, you got to train smart as, for training, as well as training hard. A lot of guys train hard. They're real tough guys, but they're also tough guys that lose fights. You know, not always, but you've got to train smart. If you're that guy who can train smart and train hard, you're going to be a tough guy to beat. And that's what that's, 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 We're going to do what we call the Russian drag or the leg drag, okay? Uh, two, fa two phases. The guy pops up, we'll do the Russian drag. Or if he pops up, stands up all the way. So if he comes up just on one knee, so come up on your left. So if, if Mike comes up on this knee, okay, Derek's going to trap. He wants to get the Juju Gatami. Trap him there and take him, okay? And he's like, what hit me? And he flopped me on my butt. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're going to We'll start with this. See how it pops up? Now, you can turn him. That's great because he did a nice spinning Juju that did he. But if the guy won't do that, we were talking about this earlier, but if he pops up and you can't turn, turn in and do what we call the Russian drag. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's examine this. So here we've got it. He pops up. He wants to pass guard. He doesn't know what else to do. He hooks with the elbow real tight. Okay, don't just grab the arm. Hook. Yeah, that, 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 that can work, but this is better. Okay? Now what Derek wants to do is straighten this, drag this leg. See how he drags it there? Okay, now Mike's collapsed on his buttocks. Okay, now look, the leg's here, he's trapped, he's still got this arm <coughs> done. Now, we're going to do the basic version of it right here. We're going to kick the leg over and stretch and get the juju. Now notice he didn't let go there, he kept the leg, you know, he kept on. And there you got the juju, okay? It's a very sudden, very sneaky move. And sneaky's good in our world. We like sneaky, okay? Let's look at it again. Come on, guys. Okay, so we'll stay off this side so you can see. He pops up, and as soon as he does, he hooks. See how that drags him, knocks him. He broke, he broke his posture, didn't he? Put him on his butt. So Mike's no longer the aggressor now. Mike's now in a very defensive position. And Derek takes advantage of it by taking the arm. Okay? So again, we look at it here, and we just do the Russian drag. Drag, pop, catch it. You see how he finished? Everybody see how he finished? Look at that. Comes over, and look at this. See, see again, we're levering the arm. Got a good fulcrum here. Now see how he's trapped here and he's trapped there? Hooks there. What's your other side of your head? Good, good, good point. Very good point. Whenever we're shrimping, guys, you know, we're not just doing this, right? We're supposed to be like that. Round and on the side. That's now you see why we shrimp when we warm up. This okay. is the reason. Skillful, athletic, whatever the head roll from there. Oh, okay. So watch, watch, watch show. the next phase we're going to do is there, head roll, roll him over, stay with him, and lock the snot out. Okay? Let's go ahead and do the head roll from there. He pops up, catch him, see that? Now look at that. See how he keeps rolling? The guy's trapped the leg, finish up, and he stayed with him. Did he, did he necessarily do it like we've been No, he did a belly down pretty much when he finished it, didn't he? You keep rolling him. And that's why we say stay round, because you will get that on. Catch, see a cat comes over, and finish it, and there you catch it. So at some point, if you keep rolling him and keep doing it, he will tap. Now, he, may, he may be in the middle of a roll tapping, but he'll be tapping. Okay? <coughs> let's look at it again, let's parse it out. He pops, do it kind of slow, guys. He pops, hook, bam, collapses him, okay? Now, we're back to where we were before, aren't we? But he started from a standing position. Right. Now, at this point, he says, oh, something's going on. I don't like this. What do we do? We, we go fetal, don't we? And then you see Eric go fetal immediately? That's kind of a natural reaction. Okay, let's react to that going fetal. Start to the head roll position, and you can roll them, finish, and kick, kick it over. See, I finish the belt, you know, this way, but you can also finish belly down like you did before where you keep rolling. One more time. Take a look at it here. Pops, catches it, drags. Finish, 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 and there we go. See that? It's, it's like we were talking over here with some of the guys and I. Think of arm locks, especially arm locks, but leg locks too. Any type of these submissions, like a throwing technique. It's, a, it's, a, it's not slow. It can be slow and grinding, okay? 
Usually it's not. It's an explosive movement, just like a throw. Okay? And that's what this is. These are explosive movements. I pop them, roll them, quick. Oh, what happened? That's what happened. Okay? I don't know what hit me, but he sure made me roll and it tapped. I had to tap. That's an explosive, like a throwing technique. If you think of an arm lock like a throw, ballistic, explosive movement, you're going to have better arm lock.